We just finished constructing our uh, visualization box, which is made out of everyday materials that you can get in any hardware store. Typically in most dental schools, it's been taught that the mercury is trapped within the matrix of the amalgam. And so therefore we're trying to visualize here and prove the fact that there's a significant amount that comes off during the mixing, during the packing, and then we have some teeth with the amalgam that's been set for a while, and we're gonna be removing that with a high-speed dental drill in order to visualize how much vapor comes off during that procedure as well. The American Dental Association has made the argument that mercury is fixed in the amalgam fillings and it doesn't come out easily. And what this research that we're doing here visually shows is that when you drill on an amalgam filling that dramatically exposes the patient and the dentist and the dental technician to huge amounts of mercury vapor that enters the body. It's even worse than what they imagined. 2,483 micrograms per cubic meter and um, I've never seen levels of mercury this high. That's pretty much unheard of in any type of work environment. Because it definitely shows with just absolute fact, hard science, that amalgams, when they are heated with a drill by drilling on them, release copious amounts of mercury vapor into the air. In dental school, they taught us nothing about protecting the dentist, the staff, or the patients from the dangers of mercury vapor. Dental schools ought to be fearful of major lawsuits because this is not a secret anymore. You can see it coming out. I mean, the exposure to mercury to those people is just tremendous. Clearly, if you're not measuring it, you're not monitoring it, and you're not educating these employees, then the OSHA regulations are not being upheld. We are turning now to the OSHA hazard communication standard. It is a final regulation, and there is no escape for it for any of us. Everyone working around hazardous chemicals and other toxic substances has a right to know of possible dangers and how to protect themselves.